It is time now for World Weather with meteorologist Carly Gomez. Good morning, Carly. Um, it's been snowing throughout the night here in Tokyo, but there doesn't seem to be much on the ground. What's going on? Yes, we have been seeing a lot of that snowfall overnight, but what we're seeing is that upper level cold temperatures are able to produce that snowfall. Temperatures cold enough to trigger most of that rainfall to snowfall. But as it starts moving down into the lower layers of the atmosphere toward the surface, things are a little warmer, still near freezing point, just around freezing at zero degrees, maybe negative one or negative two, but not cold enough to keep and sustain it. So we are seeing a lot of that wet snow out there as it hits the ground, starting to become more or less a slush. Now, low pressure continues to move its way north along the Pacific, and that's delivering still some moisture through areas of Tokyo as well as the Kanto region. Higher elevations are seeing that snowfall. Now, we are seeing only about one centimeter so far of snowfall in Tokyo, but could expect to reach up to three centimeters by around noon. Along the Sea of Japan side, these are rather clear as finally many are getting a break from that snow. Now, let's look at these snow depth fall reports here as we look at the last 12 hours, about 12 centimeters through Mayavashi, Chichibu about 16, as well as Lida, Tokyo at one centimeter snowfall. So really not that much out there, but again, could expect to see up to three centimeters by noon. Now, let's take a look at that three-day forecast. Moving through the weekend, Sapporo negative one degree, zero one. Very similar temperatures, uh, right around the same feel as we move through the weekend. Partly sunny skies turning to snow on Sunday. Now, Tokyo from five to nine degrees through the weekend, warming up partly sunny skies. Fukuoka 10, 9, and then finally 4 degrees on Sunday with some areas of potential snowfall. Now, as we look across much of the Asian continent, high pressure dominates, and that's continuing to bring that cold Siberian air south. But what we're seeing associated with this now are cold air advisories in place for much of eastern and southern China and also the Korean Peninsula. South Korea also seeing a dry air advisory in place as these wind chills are very cold, expecting many people to be under that wind chill advisory. Now, as we look across much of Europe, we're seeing some low pressure that moved in yesterday. Now, those two low, uh, low pressure system has begun to break up into several low pressure systems. Now, we're seeing a low pressure, most unstable here through central portions of the Mediterranean. This will begin shifting its way east, but what we're going to expect is about four to five meter waves along the Balkan Peninsula. Also expect to see some of these winds up to about 75 kilometers per hour. Now, a lot of moisture. We'll see about 50 millimeters of rainfall through northern Italy, as well as about 20 to 40 centimeters of snowfall through the Alps. Now, low pressure between the UK and the Scandinavian Peninsula is bringing some strong winds, about 75 to 100 kilometers per hour, and about 20 centimeters of snowfall may be expected through the Scandinavian Peninsula. Now, looking across the U.S. and North America, high pressure moving at least to central portions of the U.S., but that's bringing a lot of that Arctic cold air behind this cold front. Now, as the front moves across much of the East Coast, that's going to deliver some rainfall from Thursday night into Friday morning and then quickly turn to snowfall early Friday morning to around 9 a.m. or so for New York and D.C. As we get that cold air turning to rain to snowfall, we do expect little to no snow accumulation. Through the Pacific Northwest, more low pressures bringing more rainfall. It's already seen about 125 millimeters through Washington. They are seeing risk for landslides there as we'll take a quick break from that rain. More rain does arrive Sunday through Tuesday. Temperatures at 11 in Seattle, 26 in Los Angeles, Oklahoma City at 9, Houston 16, Atlanta at 8 degrees. That's your weather for now. Have a great day.